Yeah, this is what we want to show. We kind of want to brag a little bit. We have updated our C minor major diatonic scale, the traditional seven note do re mi scale, major and minor parallel. We have updated it here in our reference sheet showing every possible chord, which turns out there are 118. And we've put all of those chords over here in our reference score so we can play them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 5, Paint Pots 2. In today's episode, we re-entered with a lot of thoughts and work. Uh, we had played the snare figures and the timpani figures with our open mic group. We got some interesting feedback. What we realized is we were presenting perhaps too many things at once. We were starting to use percussion, or what we call unpitched melody, plus we were putting two pitched melodies on top of each other because we thought it sounded cool, and it did. However, the reaction was like, eh? it's all grist for the mill. It informs us that when we're sharing our work, uh, either show one idea at a time, or perhaps tell them what we're going to play, play it, and then tell them what they heard. We also had several ahas in today's series with our updated system of, of identifying mode plus active, no mode plus active, mode plus no active, no mode plus no active. We can now uh, identify the function of any chord, no matter how many notes it has, whether two notes, three notes, four notes, five notes, uh, or one note. We then reflected it would be nice to have a chord concordance, which we'll talk about more later. But the basic idea is that since we have something called ambivalent chords, um, the traditional way of changing from one key to another in, in traditional music is to take an ambivalent chord, which, which uh, it, it has two functions at once, and it's ambivalent. But in a different tonality, it could only ha it might only have one function. So it's a it's a crossover chord to go from tonality X to tonality Z. And so our idea is we have eight pentatonic scales, one heptatonic scale, and wouldn't it be great to kind of compose a piece of music that crossed the scales and then came back? And wouldn't that be a cool cool idea for composing in motion? Why well, yes, it would. And in this series, it would also, I mean, we've been spending all our time updating only four scales to get all the extended chords added. Uh, and we did that already with the previous five chords, but now we have nine chords with everything added. Why should we limit ourselves to only four in this series, we ask ourselves rhetorically. Why not allow ourselves to dance across the nine? It, it at least allows the possibility. So the basic thing we spent today, as already mentioned, was adding everything. We updated our scales checklist. This now shows that all nine scales, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, have had everything extended, added, and so forth. And it's interesting to see that what we just worked on today is 118, 118, ladies and gentlemen, which is twice as much as the next closest scale, which is 56, 56, 56. So, what we're going to do is just kind of compare the two for you for a little bit, just for fun, and that'll bring us home. Boom. Well, on the left-hand side is one of our pentatonic parallel scales. And on the right-hand side is uh, the heptatonic traditional do, re, mi scale. Hepta just means seven. And when you play them, uh, these have been updated so that they they have um, they start on the neutral, they run through the scale proper. That's the minor scale. Here's the minor seven. And then over here is the major pentatonic. And this is the major. We're all used to that, but we like to play them from the neutral to the neutral. Here we go. That is the minor scale. And that's a different minor scale, but they still sound minor, don't they? Now here's a major scale. 
and that has a little major jump in it. And then here's the full tonality scale, everything together at once. And here's this one. Now, they sound similar in a lot of ways, but when you start composing with them, they are not the same at all. So these are the these are what we would call the tonic chords. And over here, my lord, we have nine of them. And the short reason why do we have so many more chords is we have we have a, a seven note scale and a five note scale. And those adding two notes makes a huge difference. Then if you go to the full tonality, where uh, you know it's minor and major all together, sure enough you get a lot more tonics over here. Ten of them, in fact, but you come down here. Whoa, whoa, where is it? The full tonality. Let's just start counting. Fourteen of them. Fourteen of them. In any event, we won't play the whole thing for you, but it definitely allows us to uh, compose with many more choices up here. For example, the traditional C major thing you've you've heard it is is to go um, uh, down here in this major. You would start with your major chord tonic, then you go to your uh, subdominant. And then you would go to your dominant, which is da, 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 da. But now we could do something completely different, like use a different tonic, like this one, and a different subdominant, and a different dominant. And they still sound like da, 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 but they have a different richness to them, and they still sound pleasing. So that's the point of having extended chords. So that concludes today's series. Our ideas for next time are, well, we came up with an awful lot of new ideas today. Um, one of the simplest would be to take our, um, our three pentatonics and our new heptatonic that we've just added all the extended chords to and make, make an improvisation where you put all four of them together. Try this idea of crossing tonalities, composing in motion. We've also got ideas of making a chord concordance, which would let us cross over to the other scales, uh, updating our 3D piano kits and drum kits, adding the middle tom, etc., etc. So we are swimming with more ideas for today's series, which is very exciting, very exciting. Uh, a th shout out, shout out to Miss Cleo and Tune in next time to see what happens. Do take care. Do come back. And do keep on streaming. <laughs>